Hey guys, Majeffrey's here, and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. Now, in the last episode, I did a lot of fixing. A lot of fixing, a lot of editing, a lot of changing. Um, I'll show you guys what I did. I changed these bus routes so that a single line now serves all of these stops. Or two lines, I should say. All of this area is now covered by one line instead of two, and all of this area is now covered by one line instead of two. And if I zoom in down here, you can see that we've lost a lot of traffic that was building up around here, which is perfect. And it also means that these buses individually carry more passengers than they were before, and it also means that these metro stops can accommodate more passengers than before. So we actually have a very happy area of the city right now, down here. They're a little bit upset because trains take a while, but uh, I might be able to fix that in this episode. If not, I'm afraid it'll have to wait for a little bit. There's a bit of train queuing going on here as well. I wish I'd been able to predict that coming. It's hard to measure the size of trains when you're doing this. Very hard to measure the size of trains. Um, but yeah, I mean, these trains fill up quite nicely and then off they go, carrying all the passengers. So that's good. That's very, very good. Right. So that's that section done. We also came up here and we had a go at redoing this which was the uh, the depot arrivals and exit roads and as you can see with one little exception of this junction here everything seems to be working according to how it should be but that is now becoming a problem you can see down here it's becoming a bit of an issue so uh, I need to rebuild that section hmm It looks like it is just that one individual line that's causing all the problems. Uh, whoops. One of the solutions I have is to sell some trains. We need 40 trains and this depot has 45, so let's get rid of 5. See if that makes a difference. What is this? Shamrock line and the South Loop line? Yeah. There's a queue of trains. That that isn't very good. This is all the queue. Yeah, it looks like it is just the queue for one line. So I can actually rebuild this one. So that we don't get that issue again. I can make it a little bit longer. I remember rightly, I think it's 8 I have to go down by. And then I bring it to here like that, and then I bring it back up again. Or maybe not, maybe like that, and then I bring it up again. Like that, there we go. So hopefully in going up and around this way, we just go up a fair way before it goes down underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, in doing that, um, we can fix that problem. I really need to get myself a new mouse, new computer mouse, because this is not funny right now. How difficult this is to use at times. But yeah, that should stop the queues out here. Can you see there's a bit of a, a queue, trains waiting to get to and from. And again, it's it's to do with this section here. This bit of track isn't really long enough. Hmm. Oh well. Today's episode, I think I'm going to be doing the trolley line. I think that'll probably be the best thing to do. Um. Yeah. If I get the sodding mouse to work again. There we go. Right. Trolley line. I was wondering if I could connect it up to the, the trolley depot up to this bus depot, but I don't think that's going to be possible. I don't really like the placing of that depot. It's there for functionality rather than uh, looking good. Wow, there's a queue as well. That must be for the express lines. I'm sure I had them timetable to all run at the same time, every half an hour. 
throughout the day or every hour throughout the day. So you really shouldn't have these queues at dead times. Not really. Maybe at night time. We're sort of it's 6 a.m. now on a Friday, so maybe that's why. What are we on? Week 30. Blimey. I thought we'd be on a lot further than that. We're only on week 30, guys. This station is starting to pick up in popularity as well, which is good to see. Uh, and now with the addition of this trolley line, it should pick up in popularity even more. Right. How are we going to do this? Let's choose an area for the depot first. Now originally, uh, I think it was in the 100th episode, I put the depot down here. But I'm not going to do that now because there's too many things in the way like the tram and the trolley and the bus that's already around here. So I think that's a pretty poor idea. Um, see if I can move operations to... I mean up here wouldn't be a bad place for it. And it, I actually want the trolley to come round this way, eventually, and then loop back again. So we could have a little interchange with the uh, the Sea West, West Link. <coughs> I think people would like that. Yeah, okay. So let me figure out a way to do this. Okay. Right, I've got an idea and it involves using this really heavy undulating road. So hopefully that doesn't... I mean, wouldn't it be interesting if they brought in a feature on this game where roads like that can actually damage your vehicles? It would be very interesting. It would certainly make you think about it a little bit more when you're planning out your route. Right, I'm going to use uh, this stop here. <coughs> That's going to be the base for our trolley line and it's going to go out this way <coughs> you have to excuse my throat guys I was streaming last night and streaming the night before and things like that and I spent the whole time just clearing my throat so you will have to bear with me on that one guys I do apologise <coughs> that should help not your ears but my throat alright so now we're going to have this wire going straight down like this And again, it involves breaking one of my age-old rules about um, where buildings go and where stops go. Make sure that the circle covers buildings rather than nothing. Uh, but then this whole line is going to be breaking that rule, really, because I'm going to then curve up this way. All the way around like that. Onto this bit of road. And then onto this roundabout area. Really ugly the way the wires work here. But it has to be done. If we want the connection I was talking about. And then we come straight back down this way. They run parallel at this point, but the trolley then turns off down this way. And then, I think it's this road I had earmarked for it. Let me check that quickly. Yeah, let's just do it up this up this way. I did promise that there would be a trolley line in this part of the city, and I stand by that promise. I think at this point I might make it curve down this way, like so, and then up this little street. At this point, it's a bit like a randomizer as to where this is going to go. Yeah, this is good. And then I'll have it go across here, like that. And across here, like that. And then up this way. Along this way. Uh, and then down here, and then back up, like that. So there we go. That's our, our line planned out. Now what we need is um, the depot. And I kind of want the depot to be up, up this end of the city. So I think actually what I need to do is choose double wire uh, from here up, like that. We'll worry about that bit in a second. Uh, but from here, we want it to go into the outside 
lane like that. In fact, no, we don't. We want it to go into the inside lane like that. And round like that. There we go. And that. Get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> right. So this stop here is going to be our base of operations. I'll worry about the other ones in a second. Right now, I want to build a road that goes up from here. Uh, to there like that and then I'm going to pop the trolley depot at the top of it like that and then build this in a straight line down and link it up like that so we've got the input, we've got the output we might have some buildings spring up along here as well there is going to be another road that goes around the outside of this avenue which hopefully develop growth for the tram line at this point because it's not very popular up here uh, and now what I need to do is put the stops in. So let's have one there and uh, let's go there. I want one on the undulating road. Maybe at the top of the slope. A bit like that. Is there a gap between those? Sort of is. We'll have, we'll, we'll have to come up with some more bus lines at some point to just link all these little gaps up. It's very tricky, this part of the city, trying to make it so that every single section of it is served. We've got a lot of very difficult junctions and road layouts that we have to accommodate. Uh, so this one, for example, has to go after the junction in order for it to work. That one has to go sort of in the middle like that. That one we can fit there, just before the end. Um, that one can go there. That one can go there. Uh, we'll have one there like that. We don't need one there. We'll have one coming back in the opposite direction though. And we'll have another one there. And another one there. And then it comes over this bridge. We'll have one on the bridge, even though I doubt it will ever be used. We'll have one at the end of the bridge as well, so link with the tram. We'll have one here, and another one here, and here. And then it turns inside like this. We'll have one sort of in the middle like that. That one we'll use as well, so there's a, an interchange point. And then it'll come up this road, so we'll have another stop there, and there and then there's another interchange point there and then we'll have another stop here and a final one there a bit like that okay so now we go into lines choose a new line what haven't we got we've got indigo violet mauve need a shade of purple it's magenta a shade of purple let me look now I'm saying it, I'm thinking it's... Yeah, it's more like a pinky colour. Well, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. We're not... Uh, we're getting close to a stage with the trolley where we're going to have to start coming up with new names because I've run out of colours. But at the moment, I can still afford to, to name it after colours. Okay, that's, that should be a pretty decent timetable. There's a gap there. There's no buses leaving at... Five. What time does the morning rush start? Six. And there's one every hour, so yeah, that carries on with that philosophy. Why is there a queue again of trains? Oh, it's this one now. We don't need 70 trains, do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got two spare trains. And yet none of that queue is actually dying down. <coughs> what annoyance. That'll have to be fixed. Okay, so it goes to there, like that. And then it comes straight out around this loop.
straight over like that, around onto this section, like so, stops there, comes back, up here, and there, the really not used stop, I'm thinking it might pick up from that building, or maybe they get off the tram here and walk down, that's what I'm hoping for. There are lots of bus routes that have stops that just nobody uses. And yet for some reason they still exist. So it's not uncommon. So there we go. That line is mapped out. And the one thing I forgot to do was buy some vehicles. Because I'm a klutz. So let's do that. Um, that one looks good. It's not got a very good service quality though. The Toyota Iris, maybe. Uh, that's probably going to be our best bet actually. It's modern looking. This is a fairly modern part of the city. So uh, we'll go with that. Now we've got to wait for a train. Uh, I say train. What I meant to say was bus. There's one. And we'll follow it on its first inaugural journey around the, the new magenta line. Let's whack it and fast forward as well. Here we go. <coughs> so there's people waiting at some of the stops already. You can already see that. So that's good to see. Nobody waiting at the hub yet though. Not so good to see. There you go, just jinx inside like that. I like this idea of another vehicle should be able to go past there then, like a bus or a, another trolley, or maybe even a tram if we ever, ever end up doing that. Although I doubt we'll end up doing that right now. So that's gone well, and then it goes over. There's the second trolley. Maybe we will have to adapt the timetable slightly. Especially at this stage, we don't need that many vehicles. Here's the undulation section, so it goes up plateaus out a little bit and then goes up very very steeply but there's passengers because this part of the city isn't covered by any line at all maybe the tram stretches a little bit over this way uh, but there's certain streets that we'll be hitting in a minute that just aren't served by any line here's another example 12 passengers maybe that trolley behind will get some people on board after all now we're running down a normal street Again, there's some passengers. I think we left someone behind there. Bad driver. More passengers. There we go. So yeah, this is this city is really starting to take shape of what I wanted to, it to be when I first started this new series. Um, there's plenty of work still to do. There's plenty of suburbs that need building. Um, there's plenty of connections that need to be made. The Metro Loop was the biggest project of the build, I'd say. But there'd be a lot of little mini projects related to that, um, which could be almost as big. Rebuilding it, I think, would be a big one. And that's that's a project that I'm planning at the moment. Is if I can't make it work, if it's still got queues of trains going into and out of the depots like that, and if it's interfering with the main running lines, then I am going to rebuild the entire network so that we don't get that problem. The only thing I'll be keeping is the hub and the the big loop obviously but everything else will be rebuilt from scratch um, because I, I just think the way the way I built it I tried to do it really really quickly for the sake of making a good episode but I think I sacrificed the quality of the build just so that it would be built quicker so I'd like to to change that if possible even if it's just small adjustments here and there. This trolley is practically running full right now. We have room for one more passenger. And we are approaching the interchange point, and I imagine we'll lose a few of our passengers here. They'll be getting off to get on the bus to go to the uh, the metro. There you go, we are now running at full. Okay, so the next stop is the interchange. Let's see how many passengers we lose. Pretty much all of them. All but three. Would you look at that? 
And actually, they're walking. Maybe they're walking to the metro station. That would be very interesting. Here's the very, very tight turn. And we're off again. And again, there's the next trolley, which is filling up very nicely. It would be interesting to see how many passengers on that trolley will get off at the next stop. Whereas we run via those traffic lights, which somehow stick through the roof of the tunnel. Um, this is a very traffic light heavy area now, because it's all four lane roads. Even if it's got two lane roads going into four lane roads, for some reason you still need traffic lights. It's almost like the system doesn't trust drivers anymore to make their own judgement. Every single junction now has a set of traffic lights. And there's no wonder there's traffic jams everywhere. It's appalling. Right, right turn here. Running down the main road. Now let's see if there's anybody waiting at this stop. There are people. This stop is actually being used. There is a single passenger waiting. <coughs> I've no idea where he came from, but he is waiting at that stop. So maybe it wasn't a total waste of money and time. And this stop down the end here, there's a few more people waiting. There's four more. What's our condition? 83%. So this, I'm guessing this will be able to do two laps before it has to be serviced. Maybe even three. There's the left turn. And now we're onto the undulation, undulation roads again. Undulation Avenue, I think I might call it. There's a lot of undulating going on. It's my knuckles cracking. You can hear there, guys. Sorry about that. Right, here's a stop. Again, few people waiting. These roads are weird because they seem really, really quiet. But they they are main roads, really. They're four lane roads. <coughs> they haven't got parking spaces, so it's entirely four lanes. You've got the freeway just off to the left, which is pumping vehicles onto this street at every single junction, by the looks of things. And yet, it's very, very tranquil. There's not many big buildings. There's a couple of schools. They're pretty big buildings, but it's mainly just villas and small houses. It's almost eerie how quiet it is. There's the turn. Now we're going to have another interchange point here, so we might lose quite a few passengers. I don't think it was this stop, it was the next one, wasn't it? Metro Depot 4 hasn't got enough vehicles. Is that because they're all waiting because of the other depots? I might rebuild that off camera, actually. Just go have a little fiddle with it and see why it's uh, causing so much congestion. Oh, I think we gained more than we lost at that stop. So that's good to see. There's the right turn. Uh, sorry, left turn. I don't know why I said right. I meant left. With a stop. A couple of passengers get on. The light turns red just as we get to it, which is fantastic. Not. <coughs> Apparently ticket prices are still too low. I'm not going to raise my ticket prices. I'm making a very, very healthy profit with my ticket prices as they are. I see no need to up the ante. Right, we are two corners away. Excuse my yawning. My cough has been keeping me awake at night. Which is one of the reasons why I've been streaming later and later at the moment. It's to try and make myself feel tired enough that I'll just go straight to sleep. It hasn't actually worked. It's worked a little bit, but not much. Not as much as I'd like it to. Right, here's the right turn. There we go. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the tight right turns on trolley lines. They have to be done, though. If you're doing a sharp right, you can't just do all lefts. Well, maybe you can. I've never really tried. There's another tight right turn. And then in a second, there'll be another tight right turn. Traffic light controlled, tight right turn. There we go. And we swing around this way. Go straight through that a little bit. Got 26 passengers on board. There's actually a lot of people waiting at this stop to head home. So there's all the passengers dropped off. And yes, looks like we're doing another lap. Wow, there's so many people waiting here. That second trolley is going to have its work cut out. But actually, our trolley wasn't waiting for very long. Look at that. They're literally coming off the train, 
going straight over the road and up there. Not many people waiting at this stop for this bus, though. Bit of a shame. There's the next trolley. There's 78 people waiting at that stop. Is it going to load up? Yep, straight up to 52. And somewhere there'll be an, an, the next trolley coming along. Very, very busy. This is starting to turn into a proper hub. Which is good. It's what we want. Uh, it's exactly what we want. The train flow seems to be okay again now. They all seem to be swinging past. And there's lots of passengers leaving and arriving on the uh, the slow line. So that's good to see as well. There's a lot of passengers come off here. Let's see where they go. Once we see where they go, then I'll end this episode. There must be like a hundred people there, guys. That is a lot of people. And virtually all of them. Oh, wow. That trolley line. Look at it. Wow. That's a lot of people waiting. We're into the 40s, into the 50s, into the 60s, into the 70s. Wow. And each trolley can only hold 56, uh, 52 people maximum. So I think we might have to buy some bigger trolleys. Although they are running quite frequently right now. They are running quite frequently. So I'm not going to worry about that too much for now. Um, what I am going to do though, <coughs> excuse me, is end this episode guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your ever continuing support. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed watching it. And until next time, I will see you soon.